Yeah, maybe you'll have to share screen again. I'll just do that for you. Yes. How much time do I have? Now you can take you? you can take your time. We have about 20 minutes, 20, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Papers. Now let's go to the next one about the content. Uh, what should teachers, if you want to organize, if you want to plan a real teacher trainings, what should you have? First of all, it's setting positive atmosphere because if you see someone very just not smiling, not welcoming you, it uh, just gives you an opportunity just to say, where I am, let go, it's not mine. And the next one is basic teaching skills. It's a content methodology because every time when you plan something, any training course, you have to know something about the methodology, how you can just uh, do, plan, and realize how you can conduct the training course. The next part is about synchronic and asynchronic teaching, especially if you have online, Mm, you can do it, but I think that after the pandemic situation, this one, these kinds of uh, trainings will continue because now we know many trainers, many educators who are very brilliant and very experienced in their field. And we can just uh, to attend their sessions one and more time. And that's why it's very useful one just to know about it and to uh, include in your training course. And also practice. The first one is practice. I don't know if you have paid attention nowadays when we um, go in many uh, trainings, for example, it can be lesson planning, it can be assessment about, or I don't know how to choose materials. Every kind of training course, just try to organize and plan it from the point of practice. Because we want to attend this one in order just uh, to get practice because the theoretical part we can just sit at home and have it and not to go anywhere because of it and that's why when we just choose a training course we try to course as for me for example i choose the ones which are very practical one i can just gain even i can try this method during the training course and it will be very visible and very available for me and if i try i don't just just note down and write down in my uh, notebook and then i know i have passed no when i go to school when i go to my college or somewhere i always just use this one because i have practiced and i know that this one is very uh, positive one and very successful one for example when i first enter the classroom or this one is very for example, I can choose a rubric for assessment, uh, analytic maybe, and I say, oh, now I am going to give a composition and this rubric will help me to assess my children, but not just read the essay and say, oh, from 10, I will give it eight or seven because it's no, there are different kinds of rubrics which can give writing, idea or I don't know different criteria. There are different kinds of criteria you can just follow. And, and in any case, the student won't say, this teacher doesn't like me. That's why I always get bad marks. No, in this case, you have just an improvement. Say, oh, my dear, look here. Your content is very short, or you have so many mistakes, or where is the introduction? Where is the main body or is the conclusion of it? And the student will just understand you. And everything you have done 
one because you have attended the training course and you have practiced for it. That's why it's very important one, uh, just uh, to have practice in everything because you can hear uh, in my in my culture, we have such kind of quote, uh, you can hear for a thousand times, but to practice and see for once, it's all. And it's all. I can see many times something, but until I won't just uh, choose it, I won't try it, I can't be say that I'm, I'm aware of it. No, because I have no practice of it. And we teachers, we are practical persons, not the ones who go to the stage and speaks or gives a lecture without speaking, speaking, speaking. No, I think that from this case, you have to have practice. And it's uh, maybe the one, the first point for being a real experienced teacher for you. In this case, I want to say about the advantages of online trainings because which are very convenient, flexible, education at home, and new meetings. Where according to this online training, we can just have many new friends from all over the world and attend them and it's very flexible for example i am working during the day i am not at home but there are different trainings which i can use and attend after work and it's very flexible for me and also i get at the end i get this um, education and get my certificate but on the other hand, as we know, everything has two sides, black and white. This one has also disadvantages. Um, sometimes people say that it's a sense of isolation because you are alone, uh, closed in your room. There is nobody who you can just interact with. The people who you interact, they are just behind the screen or it's time of management. I can uh, say, I can just still in register for a training course, but not attend or while attending, I can just turn off my camera and just the voice and just speak. You trainer speak, I am here, but please don't forget about my certificate or be responsible for learning. Sometimes I can say it's online learning. Okay, I plan at five o'clock to have my online lesson, but it comes five o'clock, I say, of let me call my headmaster, let me call my friend, and after it, I will do it. And then the five o'clock pass comes six o'clock, and you say, oh, now six o'clock, I'm going to have my online. It can be also a disadvantage for you. And also more independent. As I have mentioned, we have no kinds of, um, let's say, we have no kinds of uh, trainings or something that we are under the control, because it's sometimes uh, we are under control and we don't plan. If we, if we are planned and we are under the control, in this case, we can just get very smoothly. We can just uh, pass everything, attend any kind of trainings and get our certificates, knowing and gaining any kind of knowledge about it. But in this case, sometimes we can just get independent and sometimes not to do everything in order that we want to do. That's why. It was about something I tried to uh, give brief description of training courses about. Thank you very much. I think maybe it will be useful for you. And as, as I have mentioned about the choosing, choosing any kind of online uh, courses that you want. First of all, just while choosing, pay attention. What do you want? Is it course? Is it available for you or not? Because for example, I am interested in assessment. I can try to find out such kind of um, training courses which will give me really information and practice in this field. I can choose the one. Not every kind of webinar I can just go and choose and just attend, just attend and get the certificate. No, you have the main aim of the training is just to gain experience and practice from this point. And there are many you know, different kinds of things that will be available also for your culture and teaching style. Maybe this one is very good one for me, but it is not good one for you. That's why you have also to take into account these peculiarities. And also, sometimes you can pay attention uh, to the popularity of the training course of training center, because there are nowadays many webinars or something which 
We just go, they speak, 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 and I don't gain anything from it. From this point, I can just choose the one that has, I know, or I have attended once, and I know that it is very uh, useful one and always gives me many interesting facts or materials or something I can choose it. And nowadays, in, uh, there are many webinars from British Council, Cambridge Assessment, uh, we have MOOC, M O double O C. There are different kinds of courses that you can attend, pass the all kinds of quizzes and get your certificate. And also you can just choose any kind of conferences. Many different countries nowadays have conferences on different topics that you can choose it's a conference also because uh, there are many speakers who are very experienced in their field and they can just discuss concrete problems or concrete topics that you are interested in and all this after doing this one you can just choose and attend not only attend but also enjoy your attendance and get the certificate really just the ones that you worth it that you it's the ones that i really wanted it's uh there are many that's why every time when you just uh, choose the training try to ask some questions for you is it available is it necessary for me first of all or not not just attend thank you yeah and plus i think that you know um the fact that we nowadays have syn uh, synchronous versus asynchronous i think uh, the fact that we have asynchronous trainings in the form of these modules uh, leaves us with our time. I mean, we can do it at our convenience. So it's not like something that, oh, I missed the opportunity. The opportunity is always there for us and we can always take up that opportunity whenever we have time at our own pace and our own convenience. And I think um, this is something which the pandemic uh, has, it's been a savior because uh, our learning, you know, as educators, I feel our learning had stopped. But now, ever since March 2020, I feel our learning has begun. And more than the learners, I think we are also learning, learning a lot. Because earlier, we weren't used to meeting like this virtually. We weren't used to, you know, connecting like this. I, it, it was something really, uh, I mean, we actually had to go through cultural exchanges for us to be interacting with different countries, but now we can do it easily virtually. And I think this is such a big boon from the heavens above and we should really uh, you know, take advantage of it. And like you've encouraged us very convincingly that you know, try to sift what should be taken up and what should be just left out. And once you take up something which is really worth it, which you really feel you would like to do with passion, you do that, get your certificate, which will be a well-deserved one. Mm -hmm. I think that makes a lot of sense, a synchronous training and lifelong learning for us as educators as well. So um, Shiba and uh, Zubair, maybe Zubair can say something first and then Shiba can wrap it all up and say the final goodbye. Yes, Zubair. Okay, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, thank you. Um, yeah, ma'am uh, explained very well. Uh, Participation not dependent because uh, the technology has provided us an opportunity because participation not dependent on time or location. Online formats allow for dynamic interaction with students, with colleagues, and high quality interaction between you know us. And learning is centered around the students' uh, uh, access to resources and ex uh, you can say exposure to cutting edge technologies. And we are learning a lot. Uh, and because uh, access to uh, Potential for technology to fail, uh, not sometimes uh, uh, there are lots of cons are also there, not effective for undisciplined students, non effective, uh, uh, not effective for all type of learners, uh, this education, but overall we can say we learn a lot as a teacher, uh, you know, a good teacher must to not only be a smart and approachable uh, scholar, but also a dramatic success like actor, he is actor in the class, he is a manager, he is a facilitator. Uh, he has sub he has mastery over his subject and develop you develop his own curriculum lessons and you know teaching methods teaching styles because every learner is different in the class and he use vocal animation physical animation classroom space humor role playing and uh, uh, preparation classroom management pay and teacher is always confident and you know he has some sort of uh, 
understanding and always try to learn so this pandemic has given us a good uh, you know opportunity to all of us uh, as a teacher as an educator we are learning a lot uh, because classroom management and uh, how we are dealing with our students in the class we are still learning so this is this was awesome you know a session by ma'am uh, thank you ma'am uh, for such a wonderful you know insights uh, from you and also thankful to alka ma'am uh, for uh, providing me the opportunity to speak and thank you shiva ma'am as well thank you I'd like to thank you ms alice for this wonderful presentation uh, you gave us such beautiful insights such detailed explanation about why this online training why the teacher training is required why it is the need of the hour as i spoke at the beginning and uh, ma'am i love the disadvantages and advantages i took the key word sense of isolation i you know my mind started working and why we use the word sense of isolation because we all are used to working in teams and uh, so I, I i just want to appreciate and want to thank you that yes of course it's also one of the disadvantages wherein uh, we are used to working in teams we are now the second word uh, second Use. So there is a vast difference. We are all work. Uh, we are all into advantages that I understand. But then I was very, very, uh, you know, it gave us so many insights that yes, there can be disadvantages also. Very few people talk. We only talking about advantages and benefits and everything. Apprising us with these techniques and. Uh, all this uh, the way teachers training has to be done you know it is further chiseling of the professional skill of a teacher so we want to uh, as uh, the way said we are learners and we are we continue to learn and i'll remember this um thank you so much for sparing your time for us and uh, with this we come to the end of our uh, ninth session session nine anybody else would like to speak or anybody else would like to ask a question before we wrap up Bhumika, would you like to say something as a final word, child? Do you want to say something? She's from our Yeah, yeah. Ma'am, if you don't mind, I would like to ask a question. Let Please go ahead. Questions. Please go ahead. So, ma'am, like being a teacher, you encounter different kind of students. They they have different natures. So, like every student has its own weakness. It is some special things they have. So what is like an advice you would like to give to the students or to the teachers to overcome up with their fears and weaknesses? How to make the, their weaknesses? Mm -hmm. The first thing I would like to talk about the encouragement. It doesn't matter you are a weak student, you are, no, there is, um, I can say that there are no weak students. Uh, maybe an example I will bring. Uh, there was, number, but I will try to remember and later will uh, write the name of the film. It was about that neurosurgeon. When he was a student, he was very uh, weak student. Every time he just get failed exams or just get uh, got. Uh, assessment later to his mother and uh, told him just to say is everything okay but his mother said oh what a beautiful and but every time at school the teacher said he's a very awful student but mother always said that encouraged him that say you know I know that you can that you can and at last he became a uh, who separates young twins. The child, when he was a student, he was a very not the one who was brilliant at wasn't a good at that. I want to say that encourage you you can be very weak or you can be 
not appropriate maybe way, way teacher study. Long text is available for this student, but it's not available for the next one. And we teachers, as teachers, and we try to cooperate with the students, try to find the best way just to give the students the text. I can, for example, this student is a very good student. I can give him a very long text and I just say, you can read and tell us, but your friend is he's not very good at reading, but I would like to ask you, for example, one of my students who is very good, please help your friend with reading and try to explain or to tell about the text in your words. Or I can, in this case, I can do a group work. I can divide the whole class into groups and in every group I could have good and bad, let's say not bad, but in this case who are not good at students and I say, this is your text, try to read, to tell each other, to make a little points or plan what is the text is about, trying to make my student work in this case. I should try, I should try, I should choose a style which is very appropriate. I have a student, for example, in one of my classes here in my town, who gets in Armenia, we have 10 scale, 10 point scale, and who is, who always gets six or five in all subjects. In English, his all marks are nine. I can't encourage this boy. When I first entered this classroom, he said, I don't like English. I have never had an exercise uh, book. This book I can I can give you as a present because I'm not interested in English. I started I started working him. The first he was also very naughty. Once he said, "Miss Alice, can I come and sit in your place?" I said, "Are are you interested in the chair that I'm sitting?" He said, "Yes, it's very interesting for me." I said, "Please come." He came for forty minutes. He looked all his friends and said, what a patient teacher you are, because if I were instead of you, I would, I would just shout everyone at everyone and because they are not uh, in discipline. But in this, this one example was just a lesson for him because beginning from the next lesson, he brought his copy book, book and also he was very calm during the whole lesson. And what was interesting, he started learning. He asked me so many questions every time. How can he, if I explain something from grammar, he said, can I come to the board? I said, yes, please, the board is yours. I can just ask everything him. And until till the end of the semester, everyone was just surprised. Even the parent meetings, the parent of this boy said, I have never seen my child sitting. But now he says, Miss Alice has said this, I have to find this information, give me internet, I need this one, I have to learn the words in English, but I try to find the style. I think in this case, there are no weak students. We just teachers, we should just find an appropriate style and teaching, just it can be method or methodology, I don't know, which can uh, work with this student. And you can, you can just, there are, because, there are many scientists who were genius scientists, uh, but they, when they were at school, they were not good at learning, but their teachers can encourage them and can find any kind of style and now, and they have become a brilliant scientist. That's why we the teachers also try to be not only teacher, but also psychologist at the same time. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the answer. Your thoughts were very, very beautiful. And the way you presented them were also very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, too. If I could be <laughs> useful for you, my information was useful for you. Yes, ma'am, it was very, very informative, very, very wonderfully presented. And we, again, a lot of takeaway, lots to learn and lots to uh, still progress. Thank you so much, ma'am. We will uh, actually, uh, we're planning that, you know, um, once we finish with uh, all the speakers, we will have a meeting where everybody will be there together and we will just ask questions about their topics.
because um, for many, many would like to join in who missed out for whatever reasons, they would like to ask questions. So uh, maybe in the coming week, I would, uh, you know, put it on the group and take time from all of you when you could all, you know, sort of be together and we could ask questions from it. It'll just be a question session. It will not be a presentation session at all. So maybe Zubair would have a question or I would have a question or would or Bhumika or the others would. So it would be something like that, Alice. So all 11 uh, speakers that we've had for the Wireless Connect this time will be there and we'll have one chief guest. So we will do something like this in the coming week. And I think that will be beneficial. So at least the questions part gets answered. The ones where we couldn't get answers, you know, for lack of time or whatever reasons. So thank you so much. Um, it was wonderful interacting with you. <laughs> you um, shared fantastic things. And thank you very much. Like Sheba said, there were lots of takeaways. Very well. Thank, thank you so much. And uh, till we meet again. Take good care of yourselves, stay safe, and stay happy. Bye-bye. Thank you, Shiba. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Goodbye.